What the fuck is that? A... a boulette? And there's more than one. Okay, well, that's a massive hit, and... At the very least, I know I can kill them. Even if they might kill me long before that. Come on! Come on, Reg, hit him! Come on, Reg! Fuck! Ah, oh, you almost... You almost managed it. Well. This game just never stops fucking you up, does it? No, not that. Uh, Shield of Faith is what I'm trying to give you. I stand ready. I shall end this suffering. Spam demoralize! You can do this! Did you fail? Okay, no, you didn't. Fuck! Alright, come on! Come on, Thorkin, you've got this. Just keep dodging his shit. Finally! Bone plates, huh? So they just have exoskeletons then. No stopping now. The man before you reeks of vanity, his black hair is curled, styled, and generously waxed. From the hair atop his head to the points of his mustache. His cheeks are forehead and forehead are powdered white, giving him a pallid look. His hands rest casually on his on the golden hilt of his rapier. As he approaches, a mean, sly smile appears on his face, clearly practiced and prepared in advance. Ah, the ruler of this barony. I'm flattered by your attention, Sir Stefano Mosconi of Pitox. At your service. The man performs a device derisive bow. What brings a Pitaxian noble to my barony? I was just traveling back home to Glorious Patax after paying a visit, visit to Restov, all in service of King Castruccio Irovetti. I thought I must I thought I might take a day to visit the capital of Patax's bold new neighbor, Sir Stefano sniffs and grins. I, I must say I really should have spared myself the trouble. It's hardly worth seeing. I'm always open to criticism so long as it's fair and reasonable. Well, then I'll gladly give you my report. Or rapport. I don't know which one that means. Sir Stefano's voice takes on a condescending tone. Follow along your fingers, assuming you can count. One, your army is weak. You lack the guards to properly defend your land, so you must choose between the villages, the towns, and the trade routes. Two, your economy is in shambles. You have to personally resolve an issue of tax collection from some lowly inn, and it seems your treasury even depends on this handful even depends on this handful of coins. And three, your culture is, well, non existent, really. What do you even have? No art galleries, no universities. Sir Stefano waves his hand dismissively. Your capital may as well be a cowshed with a with you a donkey sitting atop a heap of hay. Perhaps there's a touch of truth to your words, but my barony is still very young. Everything will be different soon. 
If anything ever changes here, it'll be the number of dung flies, and that will only grow. Ah, well, I shan't continue this slaughter. No use battling someone who can't even fight back! All the best! Sir Stefano performs a mocking bow. I can't wait to kill you. I hope I get to kill you. Your Grace, we are victorious. We fought off the spider invasion and defeated the strange dryad who left, who led them. As a sign of gratitude, your subjects have a special reward for you. Ooh, 2,800 coins. I wonder, was this flood of spiders truly caused by that curse? I mean, the curse must be ancient and very ominous. The spiders were definitely scary as well, but they weren't ancient and ominous. I agree with Lindsay. This does seem strange. Seems more like the plot of an insane dryad than a true curse. Then how can we explain the dismal atmosphere ball, uh, uh, on the bald hilltop? The pressure both of, of us felt there, Jihad. Maybe the curse drove the poor dryad insane, causing it to lead the spider invasion into the barony. Tristan shakes his head incredulously. In any case, I have alarming news. As soon as the spider invasion was over, I visited the ball hilltop again. It's grown quiet once more, and just as gloomy as before. I don't think the curse is broken, just laying low. Like a monster that rests before it feeds again. What? Again? I'm sorry for bringing the bad news. Unfortunately, we failed to defeat this curse for good. How much time do we have? Oh, a fair amount. I'd say half a year or even more. Now that the bald hilltop is quiet again, I can barely feel its evil will. I'm sure we will have even enough time to pre prepare for an the next attack. Fucking shit. I want to deal with this problem once and for all. What do you recommend? Yes, let's level the bald hilltop to the ground and put an end to the curse. I doubt we will be able to f defeat it in such a straightforward fashion. The heart of the curse is undoubtedly centered on the bald hilltop, but the spiders appeared all throughout the barony. I don't think we are going to do any damage to the curse by destroying the hilltop. I would expect exactly the opposite. We'd only provoke it into attacking again. Is this curse like a sentient being? Immediately on the heels of the last. No! The best we can do for now is make sure that we've, we're prepared for the next attack. Don't be such a pessimist, Tristian. We might be able to overcome this curse, but only through studying it thoroughly. Your Grace, I will gather all the information available on this situation and then get to work. Well, let's prepare for the next attack. Very wise. If only we knew more about the curse. We might figure out some way to fight it. I don't understand. I spoke to the locals. They never had any spider invasions before. And nothing ever happened on the bald hilltop before either. Now both the spiders and the curse, right when the new barony appeared in the stolen lands. All of this seems highly coincidental. So in other words, someone decided to fuck me. How may I serve you, your grace? March on. Oh, right now. Yeah, I've already been there. Casile. Ah, uh, yes, you. No stopping now. Mm, well, it's uh, it's been two and a half hours, so oh. Uh... Uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment with feedback, like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you'd like to see more! Ancient here! Signing off.